many in IT understand an algorithm to be something specific in relation to a predefined series of functions um, that are carried out as part of a programming routine or as part of um, an architectural design or, or whatnot. An algorithm within the context of a data science system, is it similar? Does it exist that way? Or is there are there distinct characteristics of a data science algorithm? So, yeah, interesting one. So I think uh, in terms of per programming uh, algorithm, yeah, that's a very much kind of like a set of instructions, like this is, this is step A, step B, step C, and that's more or less what constitutes a uh, algorithm. However, in the world of data science, machine learning, the, the algorithm is more of, you could say, as a blueprint. So just, just it, it doesn't... Was it a blueprint yeah. of what? So uh, a blueprint of solving a specific type of problem, put it this way. So but, in other but, words... Yeah. But a blueprint of solving a problem, but how does it exist? Is it similar to a programming algorithm? Does, it, does the data science algorithm exist as a series of steps, as, as, as a set of logic that is carried out in a certain manner? Is it... Yeah similar conceptually to a regular algorithm so in, in terms of machine learning that algorithm would exist in again depending upon uh, it differs from type to type but let's say staying within the classical machine learning uh, not within the neural networks area so for example so in let's say decision trees or if it is uh, bayesian networks so again in that case it's literally you can say it's a formula this mathematical formula. However, it's it's not it doesn't exist in the form of steps. It's just one formula, and some part of that formula, the, those aspects you can you you know about them, and they come from your training data, say for example. Uh, but the the other part of the rest of the formula, uh, what we call it, is the parameters of that. Uh, let's say that formula, uh, those are the parameters, those aspects are something that we need to learn by training uh, on historical data or already known data. Um, so an algorithm exists as a mathematical formula. Who who created that formula? Where did it come from? So again, each, each, uh, each breed of uh, machine learning algorithms, they have their own history, and some they don't they even did back to 14th or 15th century so uh, some of the classical machine learning models let's say algorithms they actually most of them they come from they have a statistical kind of like background so uh, a lot of them they are based on some sort of a uh, some work of statistics so let's say the bayesian um, uh, algorithms Within machine learning, they they are all based on the work performed by uh, Thomas Bayes. So long time ago, uh, can't exactly remember if it's 15th century or 16th, but yeah, it dates back to his work, which is all so it's all to do with probabilities. Okay, if the, I Rashid, if I uh, if you could show me um, the math the uh, sorry the mathematical formula behind the the Bayesian um, algorithm. What would I see? Would it be just pages full of complex mathematical statements, or is it is it a concise formula? Is it ultra complex? How how does it yeah. exist? So yeah. if we just take the example of linear regression, then in that case, the formula is our very simple uh, linear uh, uh, line. Uh, formula, which is y is equal to mx plus b. So that that's pretty much it. That's, that's how, the algorithm. That's, that's the algorithm. Okay. Nothing special. Yeah. So it's now, if, if you just write it down as y equals mx plus b, some people use okay. a, a, uh, ax plus b, doesn't matter. Now, some part, so it's just a matter of then 
finding the unknowns within this formula. So why is the bit we are trying to find? Why is our target value in this case? And then on the right-hand side, we have got, let's say, mx plus b. x is the known. So x is our uh, historical data in this case. And then the m and the b, let's say, those are the two parameters that we need to learn through uh, iterating our data. So okay. the, the, the training process then helps us to determine the values of M and B. And once we have that, then it's just a simple formula. Then you can so find the value of Y. The That's Y it. is the solution to our problem? So y is the thing we are trying to find in this particular okay. case. Yeah. So the Y would be, um, going back to our example, would be the... Um, would be the information we need to customize our phishing net. Yeah, so I think in that case, because our phishing net problem is a little bit, uh, let's say, different. That's more of a, uh, we are trying to uh, catch fish. So it's more of a categorical problem rather than like I trying see. to predict a number, let's say. So okay. if, let's say if you were to predict how many salmons we're going to see in this water body then that's a y is equal to you know that kind of I stuff see. okay so but, based but, on the net we have to work with if we were mm -hmm. to do a linear regression um, analysis this would give us an indication of how many fish on average perhaps we should be hauling in uh yeah so let's say on a given day with this kind of like temperature of sea so m so your x the known thing is let's say the the, okay. the, the, the temperature of the water